What a mess this is turning out to be. When you're ready, we can plan our next move at the briefing station. Cleanup continues following the recent terror attack on Manhattan. Current casualty estimates are in dispute, but experts agree that the toll would have been much higher if not for the intervention of a small team of... How are you? Yeah, sue me for having a lapse of patriotism. Fury convinced me that op is important for our security. I still think it's probably true. Are we ever 100% secure? Imagine how much worse that attack would have been if we hadn't had some of our people on that barge. Apparently, some of them are. I've got some friends in high places trying to find out more, but for now, it's all closed door stuff. Hmm, that's actually a pretty good question. Maybe I should get someone working on that. Gotta run. See you later. Disaster relief contributions are being accepted in the main lobby reception area. Please open your hearts and wallets to help our fellow New Yorkers. Our worst fears seem to be coming to pass. Congress is debating a new bill, the Superhuman Registration Act. It would require all heroes to register with the government, whether they want to or not. Which would mean the politicians get to tell us who the bad guys are. We need to make sure this thing doesn't happen. To that end, we're heading down to Washington. I've been offered a chance to testify before a congressional subcommittee. And I'm going to rally the people down there. We need to get a grassroots resistance movement going before the SRA can gain any momentum. We want you to come along in case there's any trouble. We've got a Quinjet waiting to fly us down there. Let's go. We're coming up on DC, team. But the situation has radically changed during our flight, and not for the better. The city just came under attack by an unknown terrorist force. We're going to coordinate defense efforts with S.H.I.E.L.D. Buckle up and be ready for anything. This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Lieutenant Farrell. We've got some of the Senators prepped for evac, but the zone's too hot to lift off. Eliminate the enemy forces in the area, so we can get those people out. Seen that coming. This zone's secure. We'll get the choppers out. You should proceed down the hill. Head them off before they can hit us again.
mess. I shouldn't have jumped a gun like that. That rocket came from the southeast. We need to take out whoever fired it before we can bring anyone else in. Those must be the guys who shot down our chopper. Take them out! Now! And you, dumb as nail shield clones, I saw what you did to those cherry blossoms back there. You think those things grow on trees? And you, you think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the cherry blossom festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes. I can see it. Fine. Time for a little boss battle, suckers! We... I should have sprung for the health meter enlargement I saw in that email. You're probably trying to clear out these terrorists, huh? Can I join the party? I'll join on any basis you want. As long as I get the keys to the Stark Tower executive washroom. I'll take things from here. Titanium Man seems to be behind all this. He just made off with some senators and took them underground. We'll cover the capital. You get down to the subway and pursue that tin-plated Russian and his pals. I'll keep you in mind. Now go! Come on! That away! The subway!
we see Titania, man, let's try to get him to say, move, squirrel. If I were a supersized Russian bad guy, I'd head for some American chow. This way, to the food court. Think you're gonna get away with this on my watch? All right, the cavalry! Yeah. Senator Lieber and the others toward Union Station. Keep going this way. ugly. Be sure to visit our scene. 
Civic National Park Game Garage. Another win for the good guys. Next time, send somebody who's gonna put up a fight. Senator Leva from New York State, good to meet you. You've done us a great service. You heroes are okay in my book. Maybe we should put this registration business on hold. It's good to hear you say that, Senator. I hope there are more on Capitol Hill who share your opinion. We all need our heroes, Cap. Why, I remember reading about you in my younger days. Well, best of luck trying to catch that maniac. Like our state motto says, Excelsior. Don't I know you from somewhere? You don't look like the voting type. Yeah, whatever. Hey guys, I'll take these pencil pushers back to the Capitol. Give me a call if you want to hang out again. again, a nation divided. Only this time, you will fall! With a little help, if necessary. You are no match for my technology! Your democratic ideals will be your undoing, once your own people turn against you! More than a temporary distraction. Did you really think it would be that easy? That's Vidania. will give you something new to think about.
Registration Act will be passed by your cowardly leaders. And you will become criminals! Walter, my god! I wear the flag. That means I don't lose. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need to practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals. Hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their supervillain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got cold heart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. 
In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the Following table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign... This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Drank dart, now! Take uh. him down! Take him down! If you want to stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. And with the passage of the Superhuman Registration Act earlier this week, superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side. Do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far... Can you believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I wanna talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them. Understand your skepticism, Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... Can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. You sure you can get us to Cap without leading them right to him? Got it covered. You just stick with me. But what about the rest? How can we convince... They're gonna have to make their own choice. Stark, Richards, and Songbird are obviously a lost cause. But maybe. Well, well. Speak of the devil. So you folks made up your minds yet? From what I hear, they ain't gonna give you much more time to sit on the fence. Cap in charge, as long as it takes. Simple, yeah. Easy, no. But I know Cap, he'll get us through. I ain't no government puppet, and I assume you feel the same way. There are worse things you could do than risk jail time to do the right thing. The young Stanford victim today praised Congress's swift action on passing the... If you're scared, feel free to do what you're told. Just don't call yourself a hero anymore. Okay, look, I hope you make the right choice. We could use your help. Hey, you come to a decision yet? No one's got a better reason to be paranoid than I do. And I'm telling you, this is the way it's gotta go. Don't be so sure. 
There's no way the cops or S.H.I.E.L.D. would have handled it with a slugfest in the middle of a suburban neighborhood. Later. So, in a worst-case scenario, we'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Heroes so busy fighting each other, the criminals get a free pass. Exactly. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads to prevail at a time like this. We'd like to hear what you have to say about this historic event. Our online polls will be open. There's morality and there's practicality. I may have personal issues with the act, but I also have hard evidence that if we rebel against it, the entire world's future will be imperiled. So, there's really only one sane choice here. Perhaps. But I'd recommend you very carefully consider the consequences of your decision on this. I'm not sure that's been determined. Incarceration, most likely. Those who violently resist might accidentally be harmed. Of course not. But anyone who openly resists law enforcement should know the risk they're taking. I'm sorry, I can't discuss this indefinitely with you. I hope you make the intelligent choice here. All superhumans, the Registration Act is in effect. You are now required to meet with Commander Hill and register your identity with S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm glad to see you're willing to meet with me on civil terms. Once you register, I'm sure we'll have a productive relationship. The paperwork is right here. Step up and sign, please. Because it's the law. And because if you don't, we'll drop you so fast your super little heads will spin. So, what's it gonna be, heroes? Just sign up here and you'll be bona fide law enforcement agents. You're not looking to start trouble, are you? One more stunt like that and there'll be hell to pay. Always holding a full house. Charge out of this.
You ignorant hick. I suppose I should have expected you to land on the wrong side of the law. Happy to oblige, Sherry. Gambit don't just do what he told. Jeez, Mr. Cage? Don't worry, kid. He'll bounce back from this. Songbird will be fine, too. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Now let's get the hell out of here before we got more of these lackeys to deal with. <laughs>